So let's build a simple Python Streamlit app that can run on Cloud Run. That app is going to use Gemini to generate stories, marketing campaigns. Um, there's also an image playground and a video playground. The app is available on GitHub in the Google Cloud's official repository of examples. I'm going to put the link in the video description. To begin with, we need to go to the setup here and follow the steps to create a project, link a billing account to that project. I have that already done. I'm just going to go here to the um, final setup step, which is to enable the APIs on a project that I have just created. So I'm going to activate Cloud Shell. Again, this is a brand new project. I already have billing enabled on this project. But if you don't, you need to set that up as well. So I'm going to paste that in to enable the APIs that I need for this app. And once this is done, I can clone the repo and follow the instructions in the readme file here. So let's go back to Cloud Shell. I'm going to clone that repo. Let me make this text a little bit bigger. Let's copy that, paste that in and run it. So we are creating a Python environment here, activating the environment and installing the dependencies. I couldn't open the file is because I'm not in the directory. Let's try that again. Now I need to export these two environment variables. The first one will be my project ID. And the second one is the GCP region, which I'll set to US Central 1. Now we can run the app locally to test it. Locally, in this case, will be the Cloud Shell instance here. And here I have my app. So I have a couple of things um, here in this app. So the first step here is about generating a story with a character name, the type of character, what personality does it have, where does the character live, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I can click on generate my story, and that's going to prompt Gemini to create that story with those parameters. In a moment, I'm going to show you what the code for this app looks like and what the prompt is there. So you can see here the story. You can also see here what the prompt is. And these are all the inputs from the app. Then I have a marketing campaign as well with a name for a product, a product category, target age, and a bunch of things here I can change. And I can generate a campaign. Again, this is using Gemini. So here we have it, campaign title, values and mission, target audience, etc. And a bunch of things here that are useful for a marketing campaign. You can see the prompt that it includes the instructions to generate all these things, um, including a, a budget for the campaign as well and a lot of detail. Obviously, you can customize this in the code, which I'll show you in a moment. Then there's an image playground as well for furniture recommendation, open instructions. These are kind of demonstrations of Gemini's capability. So you can try here with the sample images and see how that works. And you can also modify the application to use your own images and do whatever you want to do here. Now let's go back to the instructions. 
And down here we have the instructions to deploy that to Cloud Run. So Cloud Run is the serverless container platform in Google Cloud to run container applications. So the steps here involve um, basically containerizing the application, um, publishing a container on artifact registry. That's a container repository service in Google Cloud and then building that and finally deploying it to Cloud Run. I'm not going to go through this, but if you want to, you can follow the instructions there. Let's take a look at the application's code. So it's a very simple Python app that uses the Streamlit library. And here you can see some of the settings. The utility functions are used. So here we have the tabs in that application. So the first one was the story generation. And here we have the inputs. And you can modify this if you wish to do something else. Then we have the second tab with the marketing campaign, the prompt for the marketing campaign. So if you want, you can go ahead and modify that as well. And then the image, uh, these are all hard-coded images. Um, you could try and put your own images here, or you can even modify this to have an image upload utility so that you can choose an image on the fly. So it's a very simple app to demonstrate Gemini's capability, it's something you can build on to build your own custom app. So I hope that was useful, and thank you for watching.